G'day football fans and welcome back to episode 16 of our West Ham United Courier Mode here on Dillon on the Ball. Today we are taking on Fulham in the Premier League. I don't know why I just went to say Fulham United. I, like I feel like there just needs to be more to the name or something. I'm not sure. So let me know if they have a hidden nickname that I just don't know. Today's match will be played in the Premier League. We've got a bunch to catch you up on, so I'm not going to dilly-dally. We're going to get right into it. There's about six games to get through. It's like... I think it was close to five minutes worth of highlights, to be honest. So strap in. Before you do that, though, remember to leave us a like down below. Subscribe if you are new. If you want to see how we get on, comment down below what you think of the video uh, and any anything you want to chat about, man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have a bit of a chin wag. Anyway, enough about that. Enough about me talking absolute rubbish. Let's get through to the first game, which was away against Tottenham Hotspur in the Premier League. The first goal was from the penalty spot, of course it was. It's Ivan Tony here using all, I don't know, 89 of his penalties. He's got some crazy record in real life where he's like 27 out of 28 professional penalties or something. Something silly like that. This one just goes straight down the middle. That's about all I can say about it. He then grabs a second after 37 minutes. Cornet chips it across. Tony does well to get around the back of the defense, a defense which included a Merrick Laporte for some reason. Um, but Laporte couldn't do anything, nor could Jan Sommer in goals or Oatsy shaking behind me. A 2-0 win for West Ham. Next up, it was Arsenal and our... I mean, he was the thorn in our side at the end of last season, Victor Osserman. I think we played at the London Stadium then and he scored two in a 2-1 win. This time, he gets the scoring underway with a very nice penalty. It's right in the corner, even if Ariola goes the right way, he's got to do well to save that one. Noah Lung was then through on goals, no one's catching him, Ramsdale's not saving that, so it is 1-0, I mean one all. damn it, I've done that a number of times. Noah Lung, just a, it's a great finish to be fair to him, I mean he is very, very through on goal, but he puts it right in the corner for one all. Before of course, why not, why wouldn't it be a penalty? It's Lucas Paqueta from the penalty spot, firing this one, I mean it's pretty, pretty well into the top corner, though Knezovic is doing his best effort of blocking our view. And we get all three points against Arsenal and against Tottenham. Beautiful. Then some idiot forgot to record the highlights against Everton. So all you get is this save for a nil-all draw. We were then in action against Cluj and getting the scoring underway. It's of course Gianluca Scamacca. He's played in here by Noah Lung. I was actually, I think when I was doing it, I was actually looking for Lucas Paqueta who was making a good run. But you know, Scamacca, our 35 goal hero from last season, is a pretty good op option too. He makes it 1-0. Then from a free kick by Mitchell Backer, of course, swung in, one well by John Lucas Gmacker again. He makes it 2-0. We scored a number of times from these free kicks. They're almost easier to score from than ones that are actually closer to the box. It's pretty ridiculous. It's a great header, though, from Gmacker from the edge of the box. Three points to really further our lead at the top of our group in the Europa League. Then we had Nottingham Forest, and I don't know why I chipped that pass, but it worked. It went to Ivan Tony. Maxwell Cornet with the pass. Ivan Tony goes through on goal. Keeper, look, he doesn't really have a chance, does he? When he's that, I mean, that stranded. And Ivan Tony can absolutely thump it by him for 1 0. Jacob Ramsey then absolutely wallops one. He does an absolutely stellar job here, just carries it through midfield, gets towards the edge of the box. No one's really closing him down. This is exactly what we signed him for, except I didn't know he could do this. I did not know. He'd pick out the top corner from 25 yards out. Keeper has no chance. Loves it. Then, to make it 3-0, it's Ivan Tony again, this time through the legs of the defender. Little clipped ball back to him. I can't remember who it was from. Probably Noah Long. Couldn't tell you. Ivan Tony fires it through the defender's legs into the side netting for 3-0. All three points to West Ham United. We then played Burnley, and getting the scoring underway here, it is Gamaka again, with that, the help of two deflections, I'm not sure how it ends up not being an own goal, but Suchek, I think it is, cuts it back to Gamaka, this centre-back number five passes it almost to the keeper, who then passes it into the back of the neck. I'll take it. And then, you'll see it says 2-0 up the top to West Ham, which didn't happen. There is no second goal. Um, nothing happened, it just says it's 2-0. It also is 2-1 now. Thanks to, I mean, that free kick I was saying, we're really good at scoring. Burnley scorer against us. Nice looping header from near the edge of the box. Areola off his line, can't get there. That is apparently 2-1. 
Then, apparently 3-1. It's Noah Lung, through on goal, played through by Skamaka. Noah Lung absolutely thumps it beyond the keeper with his left foot. Noah Lung is starting off his West Ham career very, very well, isn't he? See here, a great finish. I think it's Peacock Farrell that's in goal. Ooh, I can't remember. It's three, apparently one, though, and that's the end of the highlights. So, just to confirm, we have progressed having won 18 out of 18 available points in our Europa League group. Thanks to that, what was it, 2-0? I can't remember already. That win against Cluj, we've got all 18 points. We've only conceded one goal in six games. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, to be completely honest. It, be, it says preliminary round, but we aren't a part of that because we, can, we won our group. We'll have to face probably one of the teams that progresses from here, which doesn't sound very good if we get... Like, imagine topping our group and then we get Bayern Munich or Inter Milan. That sounds horrid. Or even Leipzig, maybe? I don't know. Villarreal would be good. We beat them 11-0 last time around. So, <laughs> I would not complain about that one. Then, to the Premier League, where, I mean, we drew against Everton, but we had four wins other than that. It was four wins against Nottingham Forest, Burnley, Arsenal, and Tottenham. Which is, I mean, it's a decent cast, especially the, the, the first two of the highlights were great wins. We're on top of the league. Chelsea have stumbled. I think they had like a five or six point lead last time around. Let's have a look through the games. They've drawn with Liverpool there. Then prior to that, oh, where are they? Where are they? They locked, They were at home and lost to Middlesbrough. Sure they did. Uh, other than that, 2-0 oh, win over Fulham. That's man, nothing important. Anything? Oh, it'll have to be late November, won't it? They uh, beat Nottingham Forest and then anything else? Drew with Burnley. So they've drawn with Burnley, lost to Middlesbrough, and then had another draw in there somewhere, I can't remember. Meanwhile, we've won four out of five and drew the other one, so taking 13 points. And we're, amazingly, sitting on top of the league just about at Christmas, which is, who would have thought? I think what we're gonna have to do is go into January and spend whatever money we've got to just improve, just keep improving, why not try and absolutely go all out guns blazing for the title, I guess. I wasn't expecting to, but why not, right? Anyway, that leads us into today's game. You see us on top of the league there. We're hosting Fulham, who are down in 16th here with 15 points from their 17 games. They are not far off the relegation places. They're a bit far away from Burnley. Burnley are struggling, apparently, other than when they versed Chelsea when they got a point, apparently. I was saying in a couple of videos ago that Manchester City were ages back. They're already up in fourth. They're only four points behind us. They've been on an absolute tear. They just have to have been. It's crazy. Liverpool and Spurs are down in 9th and 10th. It's just, it's, everything's going weird. Middlesbrough up here. That's weird enough. Anyway, that's whatever. Let's move on. Let's get to the lineups for this London derby at the London Stadium. So after this crazy month with absolute nuts fixture congestion, I think it totaled like 11 games in a month or something like that all up. It's a bit of a rotated 11, but I think still a quality enough side to beat for them, hopefully anyway. It is Ariola in goals, Johnson, Simakan, Agard and Emerson make up the back line. Defensive mid will be Douglas Luiz and Declan Rice. Across the attack in midfield will be Corne on the left, Gonzalo Plata on the right. Ramsey is the number 10 and Ivan Tony up front. It's purely fixture congestion that we just have too many tired bodies. We need to rotate people. Skamak is up to 87 overall, but he's very tired and can't play. It's it's a whole thing. I mean, this is exactly what I'm talking about. And maybe we need to just go all out and, you know, wouldn't it be crazy if we made Noah Lung, who's now 81 overall, our backup left winger and got someone way better than him. I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Our opponents today, Fulham, line up with Leno in goals, a backline of Mbabu, Soyuncu, Boscagli, and Nets. A great combination of sounds across their backline. Mbabu, Soyuncu, Boscagli. Nets is a bit of a letdown, but that's fine. Across midfield, it is Kone, I'm not sure which one that is, Polina, as the holding midfielders, rather. The right wing is Wilson, left wing, our, our former absolute gem, Franco Servi. Number 10 will be Pereira, and and then number 9 will be Caio George, the uh, Juventus young Brazilian striker. Uh, we'll see how they go. I think we're much better. I think we'll win it easily. I might live to eat those words. I don't know. We'll see. So here we go then. We are at the London Stadium. We are absolutely ready to go. It is jam-packed. We are ready to take on Fulham. Guys, I'll just remind you again to please leave us a like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here. Comment down below what you think of the video, what you think we should do in January, all that sort of great stuff. Make sure to also look in the description below. There's the social medias. There's Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. 
I mean, most of what happens on Instagram and TikTok are just clips of what you're seeing right now in this video. But who knows, maybe it'll evolve eventually. Maybe someone will tell me what I what they'd like to see. You could be that person, I don't know. Twitter is also one of the ones you catch me on. I'm there saying some stuff, sometimes. Anyway, let's play some football. Let's get to it. Oh, it's Manu Kone, I like him, damn it. All right, underway, anyway. Oh dear, straight away I've given it away. I'm like, I've come into it just silly. His survey, his first involvement gets tackled quite easily. Now Platter can find Tony looking like he, I mean, I was definitely looking for someone else. Tony back to Ramsey, blocked. Tony again though. Is offside. Okay, well that was a letdown, wasn't it? I definitely maybe should have just shot with Tony or gone just gone near post with Ramsey, I get one of them. Or Ben Johnson could have got the initial through ball. Bugger it. It's not my fault. Never. Couldn't ev could never be my fault. Good good early signs though, as like I mean really we just carved them straight open, didn't we? I think we'll probably see a lot of the ball this game. Here's Platter looking for, oh, looking for Tony at the back post. It was a great looking cross. And, oh, immediately they've just cleared the ball out to us. This could be a long one for Fulham. Here's Rice finding Ramsey. Ramsey to Johnson. Johnson looking for Tony. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. How has Ivan Tony missed this? Like, he's not really under that much pressure from Mbabu. But then, just straight up puts it white. Like, no real excuse just puts it like six inches wide disgraceful i mean again it's eight minutes in and it's great that we've already created two very good chances i'd really like to have scored one of them um because you know it doesn't always last forever does it oh declan rice is absolutely thumped there jesus how is that not a foul referee yeah but that one is sure mate sure thank you yep righto if they go on and like take the lead now I'm going to be absolutely fuming because because we should have. It should be us in the lead. It, it definitely doesn't look likely though. I mean, early on, they barely had the ball. Here's Corne looking through towards Ramsey with a header. Oh, Sade. It's just a bit far out. Maybe could have volleyed it. Something, anything but a, a weak header from penalty spot. Here is Declan Rice with the corner. I'm sorry if you can hear Oates going mad in the next room. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's just gone outside and got wet, but he's just going nuts in the bedroom next door. <laughs> Ivan Tony's header goes wide. Uh, like if you hear jingling, like jingling of keys, it's his, it's Oatsy's, Odie's damn collar. Gorgeous bloke, great fella. I recommend him, but come on, mate. I think it waits for me to hit record. Leno with the goal kick after Ivan Tony's, look, lackluster header, let's call it. Now Servi, our old bloke, I'm I'm very wary of him. Like I just, I don't want him to score, him specifically. If anyone else on Fulham scores, I'll look, I'll be angry. Here's Tony on the edge of the box. Couldn't quite work it out. Maybe I was trying too much, I don't know. They are very, uh, very determined to play out from the back of this Fulham lot. Why is nobody anywhere near Mr. George here? That was ridiculous. But, like, all of my centre-backs were just running away to whoever else was there. Terrible cross by Mbabu. And now we're away. Tony looks for Platter. Oh, now we lose it again. Now Kyo George with his, like, the best chance he's had to run. But he's dealing with bloody Agard, who's the fastest centre-back in the world. I made that up, but, you know, he does have, like, 88 or 90 sprint speed or something. Somewhere in that range. Here's Emerson on the left. Has Corne in space. Corne looking for Tony. This time, yes, it's in. It's a great cross. The cross is fantastic. It is absolutely put on a dime. There was like, like it's just right into the center of Ivan Tony's forehead. Ivan Tony absolutely bangs this one in. I'm not sure where the defense was. I mean, Mbabu sold a little bit and then Soyuncu has to come out of position. That doesn't explain the other centre back or the left back. But, you know, it, I don't care. It's 1 0. We've finally taken a chance. This time, Burn Leno, no chance. And Diamond Tony makes it 1 0. Sometimes I play this game and I like 
find it hard to believe that it's on legendary. You know what I mean? Oh, that's horrid. Is he getting sent off? He must be getting sent off. Because it hasn't given me any advantage there. He must be getting sent off, surely. Yep, see you, mate. <laughs> see you, Zhao. You absolute prick. See you later. What was... Why? Why would you ever do that? No need. Absolute madman. He's nowhere near the ball. You're a spud. As if we needed it to get any easier. Zhao Pelin, you just absolutely sold the bag. Oh. Oh, I don't know what's happening there. Floated in by Simakan. I think I accidentally hit right bumper, so someone was coming short while I thumped it. Here's Servi with the first bit of room, but is that a foul? Franco Servi's a protected species, apparently. Why is Tuckless Louise all the way out here? Dumb. <laughs> uh, floated in, headed away well there by Ramsey. Agard intercepts that one. Declan Rice is able to play away now. To Plata, who has looked very good today. I think, anyway. He's played through Tony. Tony is in on goals. Tony will score. I was going to, like, maybe pass it across to Cornet, but I just don't want to do that. Like, I don't want to do it unless it's for a specific reason. Like, you know, someone... I want to get someone a hat trick or their first goal for the club or, you know, some something monumental. Monumental? Something that means something. Anyway, <laughs> Ivan Tony thumps this one across Burnley. No, no chance again. We played that one well. Got him through. And it, it was good night, basically. Though, I mean, really, it was over long ago, wasn't it? Um, at least it feels that way to me. Maybe I'm nuts. Emerson tackles Wilson. Look, it's all, it's just a bloodbath. Bath. Isn't it? I went to say bath. I don't know why. I've never said that word in my, like that in my life. Here's Ramsey. I was looking for an overlap there, but didn't come. And we win the corner. I'm, I'm not sure why my, both my left back and left winger ran inverted then. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Declan Rice corner. Swung in towards Tony. Not what we no, Doesn't win it cleanly. Platter though can recycle back to Tony. To Tony? To Rice. Dang it. Who just flops on the floor like a fish. And what can we do here? Here's Ramsey on the ball. Ramsey. Oh, looking for Platter. Didn't quite match his run though. <laughs> what has Jager Ramsey done there? I... Oh, Declan Rice is mildly injured. Declan Rice is going to come off. Okay, I'm not going to mess around with Declan Rice. I'm going to bring him off. I'll bring on uh, that that youth product guy, Knezovic, maybe at half time. Here's Ben Johnson. I was looking for the through ball and it really wasn't on. Johnson does well, though, to win it back. Get it to Corne, who gets it to Ramsey. <laughs> Ramsey hits Emerson for some reason instead of old mate. Oh, Tony. It sounds like I'm just talking to a guy named Tony. Anyway, here's Ramsey. He's done it before from range. Oh, good effort. Very good effort into the hands of Leno, though. And we are approaching half time. Oh, Ivan Tony has won that one, giving it to Jacob Ramsey. Of course, it's 3 0. We're approaching half time. We are absolutely in the clear. They're a man down, they're three goals down. They've got no hope. They didn't really have any in the first place, did they? Because they started out poorly. They started out just clearing the ball to us. Bizarre. Well won by Tony high up. Draws in Soyonchu. Plays the through ball for Jacob Ramsey, who's up to 82 overall, by the way. Great finish by Jacob Ramsey for 3-0. Should be halftime shortly, and I will take Declan Rice off because I think it's still got him injured. Yes, it does. Puts a very sour note on the first half, which was otherwise pretty brilliant. Couldn't complain other than the Declan Rice thing. Let's get to the second half without our captain. So, second half underway, Knezovic at holding mid with Douglas Louise. Knezovic, what's that? Was that a foul by, did I not win that header cleanly? Am I insane? All right, um, I'll admit I'm wrong. Uh, won't be the last time. Uh, they won it and I just ran into them. That's a foul. Ah, uh, that, yeah, that was a foul. I'll take that. Free kick for Wilson again. Swung in. Who can get to this one? I think it was Pereira who heads that one. Why did it is rather harmless in the end. Tony does well, just putting him off enough. And the Superman dive from A guard just to just for good measure, I guess. Um, I think I was going to say before, Mr. Knezovic, who's been subbed on for Declan Rice here at half time. He's up to 79 overall. I still don't really know what I'm doing with him. Like, I don't really know what I want to turn him into because he's just 
He's a bit weird because he's just very good at a lot of things. He's Ramsey, edge of the box. Falls to Tony, back to Emerson. Emerson, oh, tried to just dink it over there. Four, <laughs> back to Tony. We win it again high up though. Douglas Louise finds Corne. Corne swings it in towards Ramsey. Header, goal. It is beautiful, it's slick, it's simple. Win the ball high up, couple of passes, great cross. Headed goal for Jacob Ramsey. Beautiful stuff. Douglas Louise ended up with the ball, gave it out to Corne, who just had too much room in front of him, Babu. Found a great cross for Jacob Ramsey, who had got in behind Mr. Boscagli. I can't say it. Boscagli. I've had too many beers. It's a goal for Jacob Ramsey. It's 4 0. Easy as you like. Fulham with a free kick here after I, I think I absolutely smashed Franca Servi. They've swung it in too close to the keeper. Areola wins that one quite easily. Swings it out to Corne, and now we can counter. We'll look for. Oh, that's too much, isn't it? Oh no, Gonzalo Plata's quick sticks. He reels that one in. Plays it to Johnson, who's overlapping. Johnson, back to Ramsey. Saved. Oh, that was the hat trick. Damn it. Oh well. Anyway, here's a go for Corne from the corner. Towards Tony. Headed away. Simican on the chest. And then sort of a half volley, but it drops back out to Corne, who swings it into Tony. Goal. Easy. No, he's offside. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. I mean, it, it, my plan worked. I just, my plan didn't really account for the offside rule. Let's see how close this is. Ah, oh, look, it's quite close. It really is quite close. So this is, this is the moment where the ball's kicked. I know I'm doing a lot of replays recently. Am I nuts? Like his knee, it must be just by a hair on his knee that he's offside. Unless I'm seeing this completely wrong. I need some VAR on this. Not that it'll matter in the end. I mean, it's not a huge difference between us going up 5-0 after 60 minutes and already being up 4-0 and a man. You know, it's it's fine. We're staying top of the league. We've got a nice, comfortable lead here. And uh, we're looking pretty good. Agard, can he win that one? Oh, he did it the first instance, but then loses it. Here's... Oh, Pereira. Good effort. Good diving save from Areola. Puts it out for a corner. The first real test from Fulham comes from the boot of Pereira. Fairly comfortable save at the end of the day, you'd say. We've just brought on both Palmer and Lee Haji. Lee Haji, we're, we're giving him a go at striker. He's, he's not played striker before for us. I think when I signed him, I spoke about playing him at striker, but I wasn't really too sure. Here's Corne looking fairly through on goal. Oh, people were a bit slow to join us, but Emerson's done well overlapping. Finds Cole Palmer. Wow. That, it had to be a goal. That was like... Cole Palmer's second touch, I think. You're surely thinking that's going to be a goal. Ends up being a great save from Leno. Out for a corner, which Corne will now take. Swing it in towards Agard. Wow. Oh, Agard tried the scissor kick. Now, Corne plays it back post. Headed away again. Well, this time by, I think it was Soyonchu. Right off the uh, nose of Knezovic. Who can now have a bit of a long shot. Stop it! Absolutely stop it! Our absolute stud young gun. I can't remember his first name, Knezovic. He's absolutely laced one from 25 yards into the top corner. We'll give you the stupid Thomas Lab, that's his name. Stupid XG replay, hypermotion replay, anyway, whatever it is. Great hit that by Knezovic. One touch to set himself, second touch to absolutely unleash. What a superstar. Alright, well, that makes up for <laughs> that. Ivan Tony offside goal, doesn't it? Because, I mean, now it's 5-0 anyway. As if there was any doubt over the, the dominance and the result. Franco Servi yet to have a bit of a, a go. Here he is with a bit of room. Simican closes him down very quickly. And we can come away with it. Although we don't really have an option here. We'll lob it back out to Ben Johnson. Who doesn't have a winger up ahead of him. Where's the winger? Platter, what are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Back to Johnson. Johnson to Knezovic. Johnson has been very attacking today, hasn't he? Here's Palmer finding... Oh, I wanted him to find Lee Haji, but it, it, for whatever reason, it's gone backwards. Johnson, though, might be able to... No, he'll he'll put it straight out for a goal kick. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Thanks, Ben. Cheers, mate. All right, about 10 minutes to go. We are looking very good for the... I mean, the, the win, the three points. You know, being top at Christmas is... is what we're staring down the barrel of. 
Well, Cole Palmer with a good first touch there gets him into that space. Finds Platter. Uh, I'm not sure what Lee Haji was doing. I definitely wanted to try to find Lee Haji. That's what I was trying to do. Because I wanted to get him a goal when he's playing striker. Here's Knezovic. Knezovic finds Lee Haji. Oh, stop it! How has he missed that? How has he put it that far wide? Very annoying. A save I'm okay with, but missing? Come on, mate. Be better. We are about two or three games away from January. Um, so, uh, as I said earlier, if you, I mean, if you made it this far in the video, let me know who you reckon we should go for in January. I think we have like a hundred million pounds left in the uh, transfer kitty. We have some players that we could look to move on to, you know, bolster the, the transfer budget and to try and look at areas where we should improve. Let me know what you guys reckon, whether you, like, what, what position you think it should be in or, you know, whatever, whatever it might be. Lee Haji's done very well there. He's found Plata, chest, volley, save. Damn it. This definitely could have been a much bigger score. This could have been a Villarreal again. Not quite. Good head of that by Knezovic. Douglas Louise. Oh, Douglas Louise. Oh, stop it, mate. Emerson now, left-hand side. Can he find Cole Palmer, who was absolutely free as a bird then? Not quite. I guess it was a bit far out to try and ping that one into his head. Oh, Douglas Louise then absolutely thumped someone. Probably deserved it. Corne wins it. Was advantage over? Yeah, damn it. If advantage was over, it was Lee Haji's time. Almost time, though, for the end of this one. Lee Haji, not going to do much there. How much added time is it? It doesn't give us the minutes plus thing. Oh, that's weird. Emerson, oh, Lee Haji made a different run. All right, that was, that was probably my bad. I fouled someone again. When is this game going to end? Is this game not going to end? Um, uh, we're up to 95 minutes. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. We, there was an end. That's fine. I'm very surprised it took that long, long to get to the end. Not going to watch all the goals, but we will watch the first one. It was a great cross from Maxwell Corne. Finds an absolutely wide open Ivan Tony. The cross is like just a pinpoint accurate cross, but with such pace on it too that no one can get anywhere near Ivan Tony, who headers into an empty net to put us up 1-0. Then rounding out the scoring, it was Knezovic passed in here from Emerson. One touch to set himself, one touch to unleash. I'm not even, couldn't tell you what foot he is. That might be a weak foot strike. It doesn't look the most lovely or clean or whatever, but it, it, it goes right in the top corner. What more could you want? It's 5-0, probably his first goal for the club. Happy as Larry. So there is confirmation of the 5-0 win against Fulham. We do remain top of the league. There's only one Premier League game to go till Christmas, so I mean, in theory, we probably should be there. Though apparently Middlesbrough are pretty good. They did beat Chelsea. The next video you'll see will be away to Anfield. We've got Brentford away in the League Cup. Should we progress? We'll then have the whoever we get in the semi-final. We'll have two legs. I'm, I might just squeeze that in somewhere. I don't know. We then got Middlesbrough, Bournemouth, and Norwich before the turn of the year. Then. Somewhere in this sort of, you know, early January period would be the first leg. Then around the 23rd or 24th would be the second leg, should we progress. Either way, we'll be versing Liverpool probably somewhere around the 17th of January. We have actually £140 million to spend. I'm not one to usually just go all out and spend every single penny we've got, but maybe we do. Let me know. That's I really want to know what you guys reckon, whether you think we should go all out, sign an absolute stud, you know, some superstar out there, Jude Bellingham or something, I don't know. Let me know who you reckon, and maybe come next video we'll have done that. We'll see. Anyway, that'll wrap it up. Make sure you do leave us a like, guys. Subscribe if you're new around here. Comment down below what you thought of the video, who you think we should sign, all that sort of stuff. Make sure to also follow us on the social medias. They're down in the description. It's Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. You know what they are. You know where they are. And that'll wrap us up. Until next time, when we go again, hopefully still top of the league, against another title challenger, peace.